we are going to hit over 15% unemployment by the end of the year. In comparison with the European average, that's quite high. Do you think Limerick differs therefore, and is in a worse predicament in this region than other parts of Europe? Or? Comparing situations across Europe is always complicated because there's different reasons um, behind them. Daly Island and Limerick in particular have been hit um, quite hardly by the crisis, but it's not the only area we're seeing similar situations, for example, in Spain or the Baltic States. La, le gouvernement euh, irlandais a déposé euh, sa demande. Uh, we will hopefully put forward a positive um, approval in the next few weeks, but we're one step off the process. We then need those who actually hold the purse strings, and that's the European Parliament and the countries in the EU, to release the money. And you're aware um, that the European Parliament has just had elections, so it's still uh, reshaping itself. So it will take a few uh, weeks, perhaps a couple of months. It's essential that we point out that even though money may not be released immediately, um, actions should still be taken now to help those workers affected get back into work. There is a provision in our regulations which means that once we've approved it, we can retrospectively pay back for actions. So actions being paid now can be refunded by the European Union at a later stage. So the fact that we can't release immediately the money now should not be used as, as uh, an excuse or as a reason not to do uh, important uh, projects right now. So our decision-making process uh, does not actually slow down. But we will continue to work as quickly as we can because it is important. How much has the government sought in that application? I mean, it's up to the Irish government to give you the specific numbers, but it's in the area of um, uh, 20 million euros. And how much would the Irish government have to put in? Uh, uh, um, we've actually recently changed the rules on the European Globalisation Fund. One of the important changes that we've made is uh, we've uh, said that all redundancies linked to the crisis can be used, which widens the scope and makes it easier for people, uh, like in this case, to apply. But also we've changed what we call co-financing rates, which means how much the EU would be expected to put up and how much government would be put up. And before it was 50-50, now the, um, the EU will put up 65% of the money and the Irish government 35%. So is that 35% of the 20 million? No, it, it will depend on the final numbers and one of the things where we're requiring more information and where there's always this process of discussion is on exactly how much the final amount will be. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner.